So I have the Sony Pulse 3D headset and I'll be showing you two ways of connecting these to your Mac or your MacBook. Now, depending on what ports you have on your computer and what accessories you have, you can choose from one of the two methods I'm about to show you. So the first method is using the dongle, which is probably the best method that you can use. And with this method, since you're using this dongle with a type A port, then if you're using a computer with a full size USB port, then all you have to do is just plug it straight in. But if you have a MacBook or another computer which does not have a full size USB port, it may have a type C port. And that's why you're gonna need an adapter like this one. So this is a type C to type A adapter. So with a type C connector, which goes into your computer. So that's what I have on this MacBook, okay? So I have two type C ports on this side. So what I'm gonna do is connect the adapter into the type C port of my MacBook and then connect this receiver for the headset into the MacBook via the adapter. Okay. And then once I do that, of course, that's going to start firing up and looking for a device to pair to. The next thing I'm going to do is just switch on my headset, which was off. So just flick the switch to turn it on. It's going to look for devices to pair to. You can see it's currently searching and it's going to find the receiver and you can see now it's connected. You can see that light is steady there. And also the light on that receiver should be steady as well. We just try and uh, get it in frame. There you go. You can see the light is steady and that means we are connected. Okay. So on the MacBook, you might be required to allow accessories and then if you go now into the sound settings and go to sound, you can see now you can change the sound output to wireless stereo headset. Okay. And then now whatever you watch or whatever you listen to, you can now just put the headset on your head and listen to audio using the Pulse 3D headset. Okay. So that's one way to do it. Another way you can do this is if you have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on your computer, like this one, this MacBook has one. This is an M1 MacBook Air. Most iMacs should have. And so with this, what you need to do is take your headset, turn it off. And with the headset off, look for the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And you're going to need an aux cable with aux on both sides. So you have a cable like this one. So this has aux on both sides. And so what you want to do is connect one end into the laptop or computer into your Mac like that, and then connect the other end into the Pulse 3D headset. Now with this method, you don't even need to turn the headset on. Okay. Once you connect this cable, they should be available for you to use. So let's check in the sound settings. You can see right now in the sound settings, we have external headphones connected and they've been detected. And that is it. That's basically the two ways you can connect your Pulse 3D headset to your Mac or your MacBook. Okay. I hope that was useful. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Good luck.